This is an interesting cache. That uh, little metal plate comes off and on the inside is a log sheet. Monumental Tower of the UN Forces First Battle. But this is to commemorate the first battle that the UN Forces fought after the North Koreans invaded the South. Monumental inscription as the vicious troops of the North Korean Army crossed the 38th parallel, U.S. troops were ready to fight to preserve freedom of world. Determined to punish the aggressors, Lieutenant Colonel Smith's Special Task Force stood on Jukmi Pass, supported by 17th Regiment of the Republic of Korean Army. The first Korean and UN forces joint operation commenced. Blood formed a stream after over six hours of fierce struggle, firing lines stretched as far as the Nakdong River. While forlorn souls sleep on this hill, how can we forget our friendship with allied nations created in blood? Well, older generations of Koreans are very appreciative of the, the UN countries that came to their aid during the Korean War. Young people today in Korea, they see North Korea as a victim. They see that South Korea and the US and the other United Nations countries are keeping Korea down deliberately. That's how they look at it. They don't understand what the North Koreans did. They don't believe. They don't believe the reports that North Korea invaded South Korea and the things that North Korea does today to its people. It's kind of sad that a whole generation of kids is, is deliberately countermanding history just because they don't like it. Osan Jun Tu, the Battle of Osan. Task Force Smith, first U.S. battle. 1950, July 5th, from 8 o'clock in the morning to 2.30 in the afternoon. Hmm. Wow. I've always kind of wondered why U.S. forces in Korea were kind of concentrated in the Osan Pyeongtaek area. Well, now I know. Because this is where they've fought and died in the beginning. There are some, um, some uh, vehicles, some military weapons from the time. Let's go down and take a look at them. Well, thank goodness my, uh, my uh, sergeants are not around. Uh, I did not know what this tank was. When I was in the army, we had to memorize tanks, Soviet tanks, American tanks, by sight and by silhouette. This is an M48 tank, or a version of an M48 tank, Patton tank, named after General Patton, of course. This is an M1 90mm anti-aircraft artillery device, weapon, gun, I guess it's a gun. This is a light armored vehicle, KM900 it says. I don't think I've ever heard of it. And, and this is an anti-aircraft gun. You've seen these in movies, I'm sure. 14.5 millimeter it says. So apparently all these were, were things that were here at this battle or maybe just in the Korean War in general. I had a faculty meeting today and it kept going long and uh, so this was the closest cache left that I haven't found. Friday, Saturday and Sunday, pretty good. School starts on Monday, I didn't know that but it started in September. Classes start on Monday the 26th. So 26, 7, 8, 9, 30. I'm going to have to squeeze in geocaching between classes. 
not going to be easy, especially Monday. I'm probably going to have to go in the evening in mo on Monday because Monday is a full day. I My whole day is almost taken up with teaching on Mondays. Personally, they could have given me like two classes on Monday and one class on Friday morning or something. I don't mind working Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I don't need a weekday off. But to get that weekday off, they, they figure all week they got to load us up on one other day. And I don't like that. I would rather work a little bit every day than to work four days a week. And one of those days is just jam packed full of crap. And Monday, the worst day of the week to have your worst day, in my opinion. All right, I got to get something to eat and then get going. I got stuff to do. Oh, thanks for watching.